So what's up guys? So let's quickly solve this endpoint on a circle. So given endpoints to a randomly under circumference circle, what's the probability that all we say is same as circle? Okay, so this problem is a comma interview question. If you want to see more interview question, you can click my uh, video list below. Okay, so this problem is basically you have a circle and then you draw some points. And then you want to see whether uh, you can find a line or you cut something such that they are all on the same circle. Same hmm. I think for this one, uh, you cannot. Okay. Okay, so uh, obviously uh, for n equals to one, that uh, you get one, the probability is one. N equals to two, for n equals to two, you can pick one point here and then cut it. And then you can see that the whatever point you choose, either on the right side or the left, left side, you always get one. You always get one, right? Because whatever point you choose, they're always on the one, one semicircle. Okay, so in general, this problem is uh, hard to approach. I think it's very hard to think a uh, single solution. Okay, so uh, let's consider n equals three. So imagine that you have circle, right, and then you have three points. So by symmetry, I can fix fix one point here. Okay, and then I place like the you want to place like the like the two points, right? You want to place like the two points. So. Oh. Okay, you want to place like the two points, right? So you here or here? Okay, over here. Okay, and then you want to ask what's the probability that they all are on the same circle? Okay, so actually there are three cases. If you think carefully, you, there are three cases. The first case is that uh, they are all on the same circle of of the this of the one point of these points. Okay, so if you cut it, if you cut it, they are all on the same circle of this. Right, if you go to the, if you go this counterclockwise, then they are all on the same as of COVID. Okay, so this is the case one. Okay, and the second case is that uh, they are not, right? They are, they are actually on the, they're actually on the same as circle of the second. Or the third case is that they are all on the same as circle of the third. Okay, so you can see that uh, for each, for three n equals to three, you have three possible cases if they are actually on the same circle. Okay, but uh, the interesting thing is that uh, they are mutually inclusive. Okay, so let me explain. For example, you have three. So these are these are okay, right? Because they are all on the one same circle. But if you you if you check this, if you ask whether whether they are the same on the same if where they are the same on the same circle on the Second, you get nothing, right? Because if all these three points are start on, on the left side, on the one same circle of the first point, they cannot be the second, right? For the second, you cannot see this. Okay. Also for the third, you cannot see this. So if I define the probability to be the three points, on, uh, let's, let's define that. So I can define probability of three points. Uh, on the or counterclockwise on the counter clockwise semi circle of the ice one. So basically, I guess one, two, three on the ice. I want to, I can say this, I can define probability. Oh, sorry, I can define the events. Let's define SI. So SI is defined with three point on the counterclockwise circle. If I start from I start from I and go counterclockwise, so I can see x one and x two on x three are mutually inclusive. Uh, mutually, ma sorry, mutually is mutually exclusive. Yeah, so mutually exclusive. So this means that uh, this means that x one x x one is one, then x two x three must must be zero. Okay, so there is no way that they, they can both. Uh, both is this. Okay, so from here that you can easily find the answer, right? So the probability of n equal to three will be just the probability of either x one is one. Let's say I one defined to be true. Probability of x two to be one plus probability of x three to be one. Okay, so for x one to be one is very simple, right? Because I fix 
one point here. And I ask whether what is the probability of these two points come from left hand side. So it's very simple that these two must on the, the same side of this first one, right? So it's one divided by two, right? Because this is same by one, same by circle, square, okay? So our answer for n equals to three will be one divided by four times three, three divided by four. Okay, so this is the answer. So once you see this, then for n points, it's just trivial. You can just directly write down a solution where you have n points. Then you can divide either uh, you have n points, right? You have n points. So either they are all on the semicircle of the first one, or they are all on the semicircle of the sixth, third one. They are all on the semicircle counterclockwise, semicircle of the first one, fifth one. So the probability will be just one divided by two to n minus one because the rest two to n minus one points, and then they are all much inclusive. So answer will be n divided by two n minus one. Okay, so this is the solution for this problem. Uh, for this problem. Okay, so uh, see you guys uh, next videos.